Hi Sagittarius, uh, welcome to your reading. I've short and sweet and to the point. Um, as I say, my readings are not as long as they usually are, not by a long shot. But I do try to put something out there for you guys, okay? Because my job consumes my time and energy and I get very tired. So please do, I do thank you in advance for your understanding and your patience. And uh, yeah. I take readings that are quite quick and manageable to watch as well and then don't go on and consume all your time. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius, let's get on with your reading. First of all, I want to send you prayers, lots of love and a big cuddle, a comforting cuddle for some of you. Because I do feel that you've, uh, some of you have been through a bit of a traumatic time uh, in some way. But before I carry on, let's just have a look at the cards that came out for you. Right, so from the Star Moon deck, you got the Ten of Swords. Okay, so some sort of devastating news or event, all right, has left you devastated in some way. Okay, Sagittarius. Uh, for some of you, this could have been a separation of someone you could, someone you you. Could up at me, someone you cared about, maybe uh, you love them very deeply, or maybe it's a falling out with someone in some way, but you know, something that's that's looked took you um quite maybe sort of unawares in some way. Okay, second card that came out for you uh from the Oracle of the Radiant Sun, you do have domination here. Okay, so domination, we have a divide or power struggle going on here with this card, okay, of two people, maybe of different beliefs, cultures, or even backgrounds, all right, but and then, of course, there could be a divide here of someone uh, who, I'd say, um, more like beliefs, I'm still learning about these these cards, these uh, oracle cards, I only got them a couple of days ago, but uh, generally picking up, I see different cultures, nationalities, um, things like that, um, we have the cross here, um, and of course the, this reminds me of the, uh, maybe the Hebrew script, or the, um, and here this reminds me of the, um, what they call, bloody hell, of the uh, most maybe Muslim, we have Hebrew, we have Christian. So there's a different here, Christian, Catholic, there's different cultures and things going on here. And it's it's a bit of a, a difference here, you know, who's a more dominant force here. Okay, so this could be something political as well that's happening in your life at the moment, Sagittarius. This could be a political debates or... Um, what they say, demonstrations or riots or things like that. For others of you, this is something, some sort of news you've received in some way that's uh, not you for six. Okay, so the next card that I pulled for you is from the tarot, the Lucid Dream Tarot, and it's the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups, you have some heartfelt maybe heartfelt decisions to make but at this time your judgment your judgment is clouded all right at this particular time maybe your judgment is clouded but you know you have you've got to make some sort of decisions all right due to the events maybe you're feeling like this because of the events that, that's been happening around you recently but you will need to decide and make a choice and choose on an option that's better for you at the at some point anyway. All right, so it's choosing something that's better for you at some point. All right, so there's a lot of options open to you. And uh, what's false, that's what I'm getting as well, what's false and what's real. Okay, so everybody this month in the uh, these readings gets a reversal. So this is an energy could be your own energy but it's also more to do with what's going on around you an energy that's happening 
around you at the moment, Sagittarius, and your reversal is the full. So you've got the full reversed. So someone who doesn't learn from their mistakes, maybe, um, is uh, what I'm picking up here. Uh, someone who's finding it. This could be a younger person, someone with inexperience, someone who's not experienced life, unaware. <coughs> and unaware of the consequences, maybe, that the, some of their actions they, they do, some of the things they do, they're not aware of the consequences. Um, I think your the, the immediate re, your immediate reaction maybe to this this energy. Uh, I don't know if this is one a child, because as I say, one of your children, or this could be a friend, a younger friend, anything like that. But they lack uh, some sort of experience in some way. You know what that is, Sagittarius, or you know who that is for you. All right. Right, let's have a look. So next, I'm going to pull a card from the, uh, as I said, the readings are short and to the point. So next, I'm going to pull a card from the Golden Girls. So it doesn't matter if you're male or female or the Golden Boys, but it is. it used to be a comedy series, American comedy series that was on TV back in, I think, the sort of late 80s, early 90s. Um, yeah, it was good. And with these cards, I've put my own little storyline on them. So let's have a look. What's the message? What can we what can we tell Sagittarius? What's the message here? Okay. Right, let's cut the cards. Right, so you have you have Sophia. So Sophia is the Seven of Wands. So feeling maybe a little bit defensive at this particular time as well, with all things considered. Um, holding back, uh, putting some something or someone off, uh, keeping them at a distance, keeping them at bay. But my little storyline for Sophia. So Sophia now feels she needs to defend herself. Because others around her are asking questions. So maybe others want to know what's going on. Or they want or they want in on the action in some way. So setting boundaries may be something to consider. So setting boundaries may be something for you to consider. Alright, so something's uh whatever's happened, somebody's asking questions, uh Because I, I don't know if it, this could be out of, of course, concern, uh, just wanting to know what's happened, what's going on in some way. But it's funny this card uh, turns out because you're um, you're not willing to let someone uh, cross the line here in some way. Uh, you're keeping someone at a distance, if, well, at some at arm's length, let's say. That's the expression I like to use. Um you know, you're holding it together, you're holding your ground, standing your ground. Yeah, so that's that's the sort of messages there that I'm picking up with that card. So let's have a lovely message here from you from Spirit. So what does Spirit have to say to you from the Whispers of Love? Okay, so if Spirit could say something to you. What would they be saying to you right now? Wow, that one flew out. Let's have a look. So your message from the Spirit Sagittarius is ask for help. Wow, that is a powerful message. So this card says, ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. So what is it you really need, Sagittarius? And accept the support that's being offered to you. Ask for help. Whatever it is you've been dealing with, Whatever it is you've just been through, anything like that, ask for the support. 
because you're feeling maybe a little vulnerable, you're feeling very hurt and maybe a little sad, okay? Wow, okay, as I said, that's not going to be for everyone, but um, for some of you, yeah, there's something there, there's a message there for some of you, and as I say, I do send you a big cuddle and lots of love. All right, Sagittarius, um, as I said, I'll be back as always, even though it's very little that uh, I'm, be, I'm able to do at the moment. And I do thank you again for listening and please do try to enjoy your August, whatever it is you'll be doing. Thank you, Sagittarius. Bye.